Hey, where are you guys moving these kids to in this black car? Where are you going, man? Who do you... Whoa! Oh, buddy, sorry. No, I have to put Where are you going? Where are you taking these kids to? Sorry, buddy. Oh, my God. Where are these kids going? What is this place? Don't touch me, no, dude. No, nobody's touching you, bro. All right, all right, all right. Goodbye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goodbye. Don't get in my face. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why are you getting in my face? Goodbye. Why are you getting in my Goodbye, face? Goodbye, bro. Goodbye, bro. Why are you, you getting in my face? Goodbye, bro. There's kids in that car. What's going on? I can't tell you that information. Why, why, why are you guys driving these kids around? I, I can't tell you no information. Is this legal? I can't tell you no information. Under the Biden administration, nearly half a million children have been trafficked into the United States. They are transported via mass human smuggling routes, such as the Darien Gap jungle, and onboard Mexico's train of death. After detention by Border Patrol, unaccompanied children are transferred to the supervision of the Office of Refugee Resettlement, also known as ORR, within 72 hours. While their cases are being processed, children are held in top secret facilities, such as this compound in Carrizo Springs, Texas, or this repurposed Walmart center in Brownsville, Texas. ORR then works to place these children with sponsors across the country. Ideally, sponsors are relatives or family friends already residing in the United States. However, Due to questionable vetting procedures, it is not uncommon for children to end up in the hands of human traffickers. Since 2021, one third of the children who have been placed with a sponsor have never been heard from again. Others have fallen victim to sex and labor trafficking. Some children have no sponsor and are transferred to government-backed foster homes. Muckraker has obtained footage of government contractors delivering children to foster homes in the middle of the night. The homes seen in this video receive millions of dollars in federal funding, and some are currently facing accusations of sexual assault and abuse. This video will expose the illegal alien foster home system. The process first begins in states such as Texas, where so-called escorts move children from compounds to their final destination. Yo, what are you guys doing? Yeah, I can film this public place, brother. Where are you guys moving these kids to? Where are you guys moving these kids to? Huh? But do you guys have paperwork for these kids? Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. You know, a third of these kids go missing. A third of these kids go missing. Wow. This the truth? It is. Correct. That's according to the New York Times article. One third of these kids are dropped off at this pond. I mean, these, this looks like a, these look like grown men, though. How old are these kids? You guys work for Compass Connections? Say so. Huh? Say so. Yes or no? Really answer anything, man. Okay, that's fine. Well, this is a public place. I'm allowed to film here. Do you do, that's fine. Okay. Why are you guys so secretive? I'm so curious. Like, what's the big secret here? Hello. Like you know more than us, so. Huh? See, like you know more than us, so you tell us. So. Okay, I just don't understand. But why are you hiding your face, man? What's the big secret? Hey, amigo. Amigo. Amigos. You tell these kids not to talk, huh? Yo, amigo. Damn, man. What's going on here? Hey, can I ask you guys a question? I'm, I'm just filming for my own safety. You guys know anything about this? About, yeah, about these guys moving these kids to the airport? Yeah. Straight up. It's America. It's America. It's America, where we move kids to airports? <laughs> you guys proud of what you're doing here? It's pretty wild, man. As of 2024, billions of dollars have been granted to foster homes across the country as part of ORR's Unaccompanied Children Program, allowing foster homes to generate millions of dollars of revenue off of trafficked children. Many of these homes 
have a history of sexual assaults and abuse. Three of the four homes that we witnessed children being delivered to have faced serious sexual assault allegations. According to a New York Post article, at least 28 victims from the children's village have come forward. The alleged victims describe brutal attacks from older, stronger kids at the children's village, as well as staffers, including being groped, beaten, forced into oral sex, and anally raped. One victim was abused so violently that they were sent to the hospital for an injured penis. Despite this, the Children's Village continues to receive tens of millions of dollars in federal funding. According to a PBS article, an eight-year-old Guatemalan boy in a Cayuga Center foster home told a counselor he was repeatedly sexually molested by other boys in the foster home. And in one Cayuga home, a foster parent found a little girl being forced to touch another child's private parts and kiss her on the lips. Despite these allegations, in 2023, Cayuga was granted over 100 million federal taxpayer dollars. Then there's St. Christopher's Inc. According to a Manhattan law firm, during their plaintiff's residency at St. Christopher's, an employee sexually abused the plaintiff on over 100 occasions. The sexual abuse included kissing, fondling, oral sex, digital penetration, and vaginal sexual intercourse. The plaintiff was impregnated and the pregnancy was terminated. The final foster home that we witnessed children being delivered to is run by Catholic Guardian Services. The front door is monitored by multiple cameras and the property is enclosed with barbed wire fence. It is worth considering whether these security measures are designed to keep intruders out or to keep residents from escaping. Every day, children are flown to airports across the country and delivered to foster homes like the ones you have seen in this video in the middle of the night. This is what the delivery process looks like. Hey, where are you guys moving these kids to? Whoa. This is the, where are you guys moving these kids to? Hey, where are you guys moving these kids to in this black car? Hey man, where is this going? Uh, where is this driving to? Oh, um, just roll up the window, man. Oh, I, I, dude, I could blur your face. Just, this is just, not looking good. Just just, all I'm asking is where this is going to, because a lot of these kids go miss them. Where is this going to? That's all I oh, want to know. Okay, so where you working for? Who you working for? Roll up the window. I, I'm, I'm independent media. I'm independent media, and I, I've done a lot of work on this. My views, get, my videos have millions of views. This is gonna look really bad if you roll up the window. Where are you guys taking these kids? That's all we want to know. Where are the kids going? Okay, what do they tell you? What do they tell you? They won't tell me anything. Look, he's telling me to roll up the window. Okay. He's telling me to roll up the window. Where are you taking these kids? It's going to look really bad if you roll up that window, bro. Where are you taking the kids to? Okay, so who do you work for? I'm independent. I work for myself. I'm an independent news reporter. Where are you going, man? Who do you... I will be able to get you Whoa. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. No, I have to put Where the window going? up. Where are you taking these kids to? Sorry, buddy. Oh, my God. Hey, where are you guys flying to today? Where are you guys driving to? Why? Well, a lot of these kids, you know, a third of these kids, according to the New York Times, go missing. Oh, well, not these. Not these? Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. I I'm just curious, you guys going to a foster home? No, sir. It, it doesn't matter where they're going. Oh, we, okay. We don't need to. Well, well how, how, how can we guarantee this kid's safety? Because you're not going to check up on them, right? You don't know that. Well, there's a 30-day wellness check that happens after you drop them off, right? And a third of those calls well, go unanswered. Again, you don't do you work with MVM or Southwest Key? Hola. Whoa, do you tell these kids not to talk? Yeah, we, well, you tell you these didn't, kids you not didn't to ask talk? my permission to be on Well, camera. this this is a one party, it's a one party consent yeah. state in New York. This is a public place, okay, unfortunately. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some space, that's fine. Hola. Como estas, amigos? Yo soy un amigo, no problema, no problema. ¿Qué país tú? Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, ¿qué, qué país? What? No problema, es América. Es América, no problema aquí.
Amigos, ¿qué pasa? You okay? Hey, what company do you work for? Can I know that? Better ask the question, brother. Huh? What company do you work for? That's all I want to know. I mean, it's a public, it's a public concern with these kids. You know, a lot of men are going missing. It's in Department of Homeland Security documents, and some of them get delivered into the hands of sex traffickers. I'm not saying that you're doing that, but I'm saying it does happen. This right. is this is known. I'm saying, are you MVM Southwest Key? That's all we want to know. What's going on, brother? Hey, no, can you not do that, please? Hey, don't touch me. Get the fuck out of here. Don't touch me, dude. Get, get, can you go? Don't touch me. Can you go? You're, you're asked to leave. Don't touch me, no, dude. No, nobody's touching you. All right. Bro. All right. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Goodbye. Don't get in my face. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why are you getting in my face? Goodbye. Why are you getting in my face? Goodbye, bro. Goodbye, bro. Why are you, you getting in my face? Do here. Goodbye, bro. What's the name of this place? None of your business. Goodbye. Have a blessed day, bro. I'll have a blessed day. That's why I'm here looking for problems. It's not good. I don't want any problems. The Children's Village? What is this place? I'm acting. I'm, I'm asking you, where, where are these kids going? Have a blessed day. Where are these kids going? Have a blessed day, bro. Where are these kids going? Have a blessed day, bro. Sir, what's going on in there? There's kids in that car. I'm happy to disperse the area. Can you tell me who the... I'm going to have to call the police if you're not going to tell me because there's kids in that car. What is this place? Uh, I I'm with myself, but I saw there were some kids in the back of that car. And stop filming me. Okay, I'll stop filming you. But, uh, but it's very concerning that there's kids in the back of that car. Put the camera down, please. Well, this is for my own safety because you're approaching me. You're yeah, approaching me. I'm not approaching you. Why are you approaching me? I'm, I'm security on this property. Okay, but there there's some very strange activity with kids in the car. Wow. Who are the kids? I can't tell you these things. I'm security. All right, I can leave. I'll leave, but there's kids in that car. What's going on? I can't tell you that information. Why, why, why are you guys driving these kids around? I, I can't tell you no information. Is this legal? I can't tell you no information. This is private property. All right, I'll, I'll get off the private property, but I'm going to have to call the police. But what is this place? I'm not answering no questions. What is this? Where are we? Who's in the car? It is estimated that 60% of all child sex trafficking cases involve children from foster care or group homes. Between 2000 and 2018, 114,000 missing foster children had their cases closed without being found. Every day, an average of 400 unaccompanied children are trafficked into the United States, many of whom end up in the foster system. Since 2021, 85,000 of these unaccompanied children have gone missing and have never been heard from again. The open border policies of so-called progressive politicians, such as Joe Biden and the squad, have resulted in a never-ending stream of children to be profited off of through an international child trafficking pipeline that stretches from South America to the United States.